here we have a 1.5 kilowatt variable speed drive pump. This is on the lower price end of the variable speed drive pumps. So it still has a, a, a cast iron pump head side, which means still be careful, don't use a corrosive water, something with a high salt content or a pH under about 7.2, as if the paint inside scratches, uh, it will start rusting and then it, it can cause big issues with the whole pump. The nice thing of a variable speed drive pump is that it's not an on-off thing. So you, if you only draw a little bit of water, you only use a little bit of power. And compared to a normal dump pump, you actually have the opposite. So if you're only using a little bit of water, the motor's actually struggling and you're actually using more power. Um, whereas with something like this, the motor simply adjusts its speed according to how much water is needed. This specific one has got quite a few um, uh, settings here. It's got a few advanced um, features, like it, it's got dry run protection. And one of the very nice features with this is it's actually got leak protection. So if it notices there's a constant small amount of water disappearing, it'll actually turn the pump off and let you know with an alarm. And it's very easy to just adjust the pressure you want. It's simply a, a plus and minus set, setting here on the pump. and then that's, that's what it uses. So what are we actually actually seeing here with it? Um, this is, in my opinion, the ideal size for a house if you want to be able to run something like three showers. But what we get here with the variable speed drive pump is if we only open it a little bit, we can hear the pump, pump spools up and it keeps at a relatively low rate while it's going there. So at this rate, we're, we're not even noticing much of the flow here, and it's pressure control is very good. It is at its four bar, which it's, it's, it's set to. If we then set it higher, so there I've got it set to four and a half bar. It responds immediately there, it's set to four and a half bar. I'm just going to set it back down to four bar. Four bar is typically the maximum you could safely set for visas. You do get some six six bar visas, but that's the typical typical setup. Now let's have a look at power power consumption with the variable speed speed pump here. Okay, so at the moment we are it's 1.5 kilowatt pump. We're actually drawing 1.2 kilowatt, which is quite a quite a bit. We then open the shower all the way for a single shower. We're still sitting at the 1.2 kilowatt and we are at 20 liters per minute, which we're doing there. And we're still keeping our four bar pressure perfectly. We then add a second shower. So near the pump is starting to turn a little bit quicker now. Now we jump to about 1.3 kilowatt. And it's struggling a little bit to keep the pressure up through, through our pipe work here. If we are at two and a half bar, but we're getting, unlike with the smaller pumps, we're not noticing a, a massive dip in the flow through the shower heads. Here. We open the third one. Now we're starting to notice a little bit of a dip, but we are still sitting at about one and a half bar pressure through there, and our flow rate is off the scale. If we Go back to the two showers where we are about at uh, 40 liters per minute uh, flow rate there. And let's just sorry, double check the power consumption with all three showers open. And this actually come down, that didn't expect that there. We we're actually at 1.1 kilowatt kilowatt power. And then if we throttle it back down to a small flow, so Half open shower, let's see what we get there. We are now at 10 litres per minute, and we're actually filling at uh, 1.3 kilowatt. To be honest, that's not the behaviour I expected from, from this pump. And if we go right down to a very low flow, like there we can hear it's throttled down, throttled down a lot. There we are filling at about 400 watts. So for the, for the very low flow, we, we're definitely seeing a reduced um, power consumption. 
not as much as I, I would have expected. So we can take it all the way to basically just a quick trip, trip with this thing. And it's perfectly sitting at its four bar pressure. And if we close that all the way, it keeps the pressure and, and stops the pump. Then obviously we, we drop down to no, no power consumption. Um, something that we can test as well with, with this variable speed drive one is since we can actually change the rated pressure we are, we are looking for, let's see what happens if we bring this down to say two and a half bar. Okay, now we're set to two and a half bar pressure. Just release the pressure in the line. It's speeding up. Okay. Very good at responding to its, its pressure. Okay, now that's looking better. So what we're seeing now at the two and a half bar setting, we're actually drawing 700 watts for a single shower, where previously we were drawing about 1.2 kilowatt. So that's now we're really seeing the benefit from the variable speed drive. We then open the second shower. And here it's cooling up a bit. Now we're drawing 900 watts. Okay, so at the slightly lower pressure, we're definitely seeing the benefit of the variable speed drive. And the benefit of being able to actually set it. So now I've got a single shower there. I'm just going to see if we take this down further. Say two bar. At two bar, we are drawing 500 watt for a single shower. Okay, so that's getting um, getting to be a lot less power, and we're doing about 14, 14 liters per minute um, with the single shower running. Just want to see what happens. I, I think our pipe work might have been too restrictive for the higher higher pressure for it to be able to keep the pressure up. Or I feel rather too free flowing for it. Um, yeah, now with just the slow drip we're drawing 400 watts. So okay yes we're getting getting a, a reduction with a with the slow flow. I can hear the pump's turning slower compared to this full open goes from 400 uh, only back up to 500. So it's not a massive massive difference so it's from 400 to 520 there and then if we close it you can hear it slowly um, speeds down and shuts off. Yeah. Not quite the behavior I expected at the higher pressure, but at the, the lower pressure, we're definitely um, seeing what you would expect from a variable speed drive pump. So it looked like if it's set to free bar or less, you're definitely getting the energy saving with lower flow. If we, the way we had it set at four bar there, we're actually um, seeing quite high, high power consumption. Just out of interest, I'm just gonna see if we set this all the way up to six bar. Okay, now I set to six bar. We actually not quite seeing our six bar on our end pressure gauge here. Yeah? We're seeing about 5.2. So I think the pump is. We're not using it in a booster configuration, we're using it from a tank here. And it seems like the pump can't actually get to 6 bar from the tank because it's drawing in 1.75 kilowatt and it's not shutting down with no flow. So that means it's attempting to reach that but it's not actually able to reach it. Let's see what happens if we have it at 5 bar. Okay, so five bar it can reach, and we have five bar in our indication there as well. I just want to see if we then run a single shower at five bar. Okay, we're drawing basically 1.45 kilowatt to draw, run a single shower at five bar versus the 500 watt that we're drawing at about two bar. So that makes a massive difference in uh, power consumption, what pressure you've actually got this unit set to. Just going to set it back 
down. Okay. So, in practice, it can deliver higher pressure, but honestly, the best best we saw was a two bar, which is okay to use in the house. But personally, I prefer about three bar. Three bar, it was working working fine. You were getting a reduction, but not as much of a reduction as a two bar. Uh, but overall, very user friendly pump. Very nice, nice for sort of a house with three bathrooms. The one thing to keep in mind, just as, as we saw here, drawing directly from the from the tank, it couldn't reach reach its rated pressure because it is rated for a maximum six bar bar pressure. Drawing from the tank, okay, granted, we've got it running for quite a bit of pipe work here, but um, it wasn't able to reach its um, six bar pressure, unlike some of the other pumps pumps we've tested here today. But overall, very nice, very nice to have a variable speed drive. One of the other perks of the variable speed drive is because it spools up slowly, if you're on solar or if you're running um, through an inverter setup, uh, a normal dump pump would draw the mo its most power right at the start, and it can often be up to about three times the rate of power. So the nice thing of a variable speed drive, it's, it slowly brings in the motor, so you haven't got a small high peak. Like for example, a 1.5 kilowatt um, dump pump can easily draw four and a half, five kilowatt just for that fraction of a second. And in our experience on a solar inverter, if you're not grid connected, you can actually, if the inverter is not big enough, you can actually trip the inverter each time the pump starts. And that can be a very tricky fault to, to diagnose. Whereas the variable speed drive, because it brings it in slowly, you haven't got those issues at all.